The world loves a strong woman. We want to see girls pumping iron, lifting atlas stones, and dragging trucks. But how strong can girls really get? Is there such a thing as going too strong? That apparently is what we're going to investigate today. From the woman considered to be the most genetically gifted bodybuilder ever, to the one that can throw a beer keg over her head, here are 20 strongest women that took it too far. Number 20. Alicia Young Alicia Young might be the most genetically gifted female bodybuilder of all time. Her innate agility and huge body are more than enough to compete with anyone on stage. In the realm of female bodybuilding, there are some amazing individuals, and Young, an American bodybuilder, may be the most prominent of these. She made an immediate impact when she began her professional career in 2008 because of her extraordinary shape. She was able to maintain a beautiful and feminine appearance while having a huge body with gigantor biceps. Despite the fact that her first contests were not particularly successful, she used each one as a learning opportunity and continued to develop depending on the comments she received. I've always had a ton of muscle, so we might as well use it and make the most of it. After making those changes, she returned in 2014 and won her pro card at the NPC USA Championships. It was at this time that her peers began to grasp exactly how serious of a danger she was. So what is it about her that makes her so unique? Well, to be honest, it's a difficult question to answer. On one hand, it's apparent that Young puts a lot of effort in. Her Instagram is full of reminders of not just how insane her body is, but also how far she's come. The kind of metamorphosis she's gone through didn't happen overnight, and it took a lot of hard work in the gym and genuine commitment to her craft. But there's more to it than just putting in the effort. Every effective bodybuilder, male or female, must have a genetic predisposition to the sport and the development of muscle, and Alicia Young is definitely a physical force to be reckoned with. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Jessica Fithin Jessica Fithin, who can lift a 210-pound beer keg above her head, has heard women say, how can you get a man if you can beat them all up? She can deadlift a 460-pound axle bar for numerous repetitions, and detractors have told her to stop promoting obesity. I joined a gym um, in late 2016. Fithin recently traveled to Palmer, Alaska and performed a dog sled drag, pushed a van, pressed kegs, tossed a 55-pound fish more than 14 feet, and deadlifted over 500 pounds several times. She was dubbed the strongest woman in the world as a result, a prestigious and revered title in the Strongman Corp universe. It also qualifies her for the Super Bowl of Strongman, the Arnold Sports Festival's Women Pro Competition. There are just 12 ladies from all across the globe who can make the cut. As well as her remarkable strength, Fithin also has a distinctive look. Her hair is magenta, and her limbs are covered in colorful tattoos. Apparently, she's a little fond of the fruity language, which has earned her the rather unflattering moniker of filthy. Well, how charming. Number 18. Abby Pudgy Stockton. Abby Stockton, well known by her nickname Pudgy, was everything but. She was a trailblazer who paved the way for modern women to disregard traditional gender norms and follow their own fitness and strength objectives. She grew up during an era when female muscularity and strength were not yet socially acceptable, but against all odds, Abby went on to achieve extraordinary success in both strength and life, possibly setting the tone for a female revolution in physical 
culture. Abby was born on August 11th of 1917 and grew up in the Santa Monica area of California. Her father would give her the nickname Pudgy as a youngster for obvious reasons, and it stuck. She then met Les Stockton, a UCLA student and gymnast during her final year of high school, and the two began dating. She began working as a telephone operator at the age of 19 and started to gain weight as a result of her sedentary job. She then was unhappy with how she was beginning to look. Les recommended that she begin lifting weights, which was unheard of for a woman in the 1930s. There had been professional strong women in circuses and the like before her, but they weren't as physically attractive as Abby was. Somewhat condescendingly, people are most likely to comment on her mix of beauty and power, and they like to say that it demonstrated to women all across the world that you could be strong while yet remaining feminine. Number 17. Bev Francis Bev Francis is an Australian professional bodybuilder who was born in the Australian city of Geelong in the year 1955. She was the oldest in a family of five children and was a ballet dancer from the age of 4 to 15 and also participated in sports at school, which included swimming, football, field hockey, and tennis. In university, she competed in volleyball, rowing, and athletics, and then in 1976 she would receive her bachelor's degree from university. University. Then one year later, she would become part of several teams in several different games, going on to win the powerlifting championship six times. And because of her powerlifting achievements, producer George Butler offered her a role in the film Pumping Iron 2 The Women, which was being made at the Caesars World Cup in Las Vegas in December of 1983. At the time in female bodybuilding, women were also scored on their feminine looks, and for years, she would try to improve her scores with operations such as nose surgery, hair bleaching, and body slimming by removing muscle, and was unable to place first in major competitions. She then won the world championship in 1987 after successfully finding ways to achieve a more symmetrical body while maintaining her powerlifting size. The lengths that women in this sport were expected to go to in order to attain some kind of perfect combination of strength and beauty are actually a Appalling, and it's shameful as an element of the culture. Where are the beauty standards for the men then? I've seen the world's strongest men, and those are some regular sweaty guys that look like they drive trucks and push around tractors. Number 16. Chen Wei Ling. When it comes to being successful in several strength sports, few athletes can compare to Taiwanese athlete Chen Wei Ling. Chen excelled both in powerlifting and weightlifting competitions and showed no sign of slowing down. In November of 2017, she actually deadlifted 396 pounds, which was almost 10 pounds more than the record at that time. In Instagram videos, she squats an incredible 407 pounds in knee wraps, and it's impossible to determine just how much weight Chen Wei Ling is squatting in relation to her body weight because she hasn't stated her current weight but she makes it look incredibly effortless. She now has three IPF world records in the squat, deadlift, and total, and has also won several IPF world powerlifting championships in both equipped and conventional competitions. She competed in three Olympic Games while ostensibly representing Chinese Taipei, taking the gold medal at the 2008 Beijing Olympics after the original gold and silver medalists would fail drug retests. Number 15. Iris Kyle Iris Kyle was born in 1974 in Banton Harbor, Michigan, the fifth of six children, and judging by her size, her siblings may have had to wait for her to finish at the dinner table. Iris has won an incredible nine Miss Olympia titles, which makes her statistically the finest female bodybuilder of all time. You might call her the Peyton Manning of female muscle. In any case, she's a bodybuilding legend who will be remembered for a long time to come. Iris became inspired after her family moved to Orange County, California, and she observed all the strong and healthy people there, deciding that she would one day join them, if not surpass them. Iris, who speaks German and Spanish as well, credits her exceptional achievements to her faith in God. She prays at the beginning of each day, and then relaxes on Sunday.
Number 14. Anita Florczyk Anita Florczyk is a Polish strong woman and athlete who would be born in 1982 in Malbork. At the age of 16, she began her career as a powerlifter. She won the Polish championship several times and was awarded European champion in the year of 2000. In powerlifting, she's the first Polish woman to lift 500 kilograms. She began weightlifting after being barred from the national team. The suspension was later found to be unfounded and reversed by the court, and she went on to become the Polish junior champion and vice champion in adults. In 2002, she then began training on equipment that was used in strongman and strongwoman contests, and a year later, she won the world's strongest woman in Zambia and Europe's strongest woman in Ireland. She would then be named world champion and world's strongest woman four different times and has won the event more times than any other woman in history, according to Guinness World Records. That makes her one incredibly strong woman, but what is her secret, do you think? Number 13. Tatiana Kasherini Tatiana Kasherini is a Russian weightlifter who has five world championships and eight European championships to her credit. Until the International Weightlifting Federation reorganized divisions in 2018, she had competed in several categories. Kasherini was a five-time world champion in two different weight classes and won silver at the 2012 Summer Olympics. Before the weight classes were changed, She owned world records for the clean and jerk, snatch, and total, but still currently holds the world record in the plus 87 kilogram weight class for the clean and jerk, snatch, and total. Casharini's established 23 senior world records throughout her weightlifting career and holds all three of them in the junior 75 division. But it's worth noting that after failing an anti-doping test in September of 2006, she received a two-year suspension from competition. Number 12. Robin Coleman Robin Coleman is an actress who participated in figure competitions, rode professionally, and was a former female bodybuilder. And as one of the initial six women chosen for NBC's relaunch of American Gladiators, Robin Helga Coleman was also one of the show's stars. But one interesting fact about her is that she's actually a member of the Screen Actors Guild, having studied the Meisner Method and the Groundlings Improv Comedy Show. It's a real test of how much you can stick with something, how willing you are to really grunt it out and make it happen. She actually made her film debut in Tyler Perry's Medea Goes to Jail in 2009 as Big Sal, but has had other roles on shows like Days of Our Lives, VIP, and more. She's appeared as an actor and a stunt woman in video games, as well as on Last Call with Carson Daly, Tabitha Salon Takeover, and Access Hollywood. In 2001, she came in third place in the first World's Strongest Woman competition that was held in Zambia, and in 2006, she began competing in figure at the Tournament of Champions in Anaheim after one and a half years of serious training. She then competed in her first bodybuilding competition and placed first in the novice class and second in the open heavyweight division. She's also worked on her boxing, mixed martial arts, and pro wrestling talents. But one of her biggest passions has to be in rowing. She's a member of both the Lions Rowing Club and the California Yacht Club in Marina del Rey and rows in club eights and fours as well as quad, double, and single skulls. She's definitely a lady who has a whole heap of talent and I think it would be unfair to say that she's taken anything too far, wouldn't you? She's evidently a remarkable human. I mean, have any of us even done half of what she has? Number 11. Natalia Kuznetsova Natalia Kuznetsova is a female bodybuilder and powerlifter who's well known across her home country of Russia, going by the moniker Amazonka or simply Russian Amazon. But either way, you get the idea. She's one huge and very strong lady. In fact, she's the world's biggest female bodybuilder, weighing in at a whopping 225 pounds, standing six foot tall, and began powerlifting when she was just 14 years old. Now at the age of 28, Amazonka has a huge 18 and a half inch bicep. 
She's the European champion in the bench press, the deadlift, and arm lifting, and will undoubtedly go on to win more titles in the future. She's openly admitted to using anabolic steroids and estrogen blockers in her never-ending quest for the perfect physical shape, and her 530-pound deadlift record distinguishes her as a really strong lady. Number 10. Yazini Oroquin this remarkable woman is a real specialist in the field of nutrition, weight training, and body sculpting, along with contest preparation, and she's had over 20 years of experience as a personal trainer. Yazini Oroquin Garcia is the most accomplished female bodybuilder in the history of Venezuela. At the age of 28, she made her pro debut and has since gone on to become a renowned champion bodybuilder, earning five Miss International Championships and one Miss Olympia title in 2000. I want to show you how to work out your shoulders. We already finished almost the whole week. Following a sudden career transition from modeling and acting to muscle building and fitness, the Yazanager, as she's called, has gone on to become one of the best female bodybuilders of all time. A winner from the minute that she walked onto the stage, she would take first place in her very first competition in the Venezuelan Nationals in 1993. That year, she went on to win four more amateur competitions, which allowed her to acquire a pro card and the confidence to go to the United States. States. She now resides in Miami, Florida after a remarkable string of triumphs and owns a gym where she works as a personal trainer and a fitness nutritionist. Number 9. Donna Moore Donna Moore has won the World's Strongest Woman competition three times and is considered as one of the finest champions in the world of strong women. Donna won the prize three different years and was able to present herself to everyone that she met as the world's strongest woman. She's known as Queen of the Vikings, which is fairly accurate, not only because of her Viking-like strength, but also because the county of Yorkshire in England is where she's from and it was once a Viking settlement. Many modern people in the area have a large amount of Viking ancestry, perhaps evidenced by Donna's incredible physique. if we do accept that Vikings had a specific body type, that is. Her training partner, Gary Gardner, is credited with motivating her to begin competing in strong woman sports, and she said that with his guidance, she's pushed herself to find new heights and gives him credit for much of her achievements. That's all very nice, but I should imagine that this level of mastery takes a heck of a lot of dedication from Donna, so Gary, well, he can't go taking all the credit. Number 8. Yian Wu Ji Yian Wu Ji is a social media sensation and a South Korean bodybuilder. She was a timid child who suffered from severe social anxiety and has characterized herself as a fragile and weak young lady who lacked self-confidence. She then began attending a gym when she was just 12 years old in order to boost her self-esteem and feel more comfortable talking to others. However, she immediately realized that she had a natural ability and her confidence began to increase and she began to expand in size. When she was 26 years old, a friend friend of hers would challenge her to compete in a bodybuilding event after noticing how remarkable that her physique had become. She initially competed in a bodybuilding competition in the 52 kilogram class at the Korea YMCA in 2010 and learned how much that she liked the competition and could see the benefits of her efforts in the gym after her triumph. So then the next year, she began training with legendary coach Chris Cormier, who assisted her in taking her body to the next level. She was then able to go on and win the Arnold Classic Europe in the women's physique class and gained her IFBB Pro card in the process. She also made history by becoming the first Korean athlete to accomplish this feat. Number 7. Jacqueline J. Fuchs Jacqueline J. Fuchs is a professional female bodybuilder from Switzerland whose accomplishments in different events have earned her a position in the 10 top female bodybuilders in the world, according to commentators. 
sicher in der Defizit, man muss Kultur mit, mit einer gewissen Männlichkeit und sicher ist irgendwo ein Mann als Sport. She won the IFBB Chicago Pro, a victory which meant that she would qualify for the Rising Phoenix World Championships, where she then finished 12th overall. Parallel to her career, she's also amassed a thriving social media empire, one that includes Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and OnlyFans. Number 6. Judy Glenny Judy Glenny, the woman behind women's weightlifting, is someone that you should meet. The four-time women's national champion recalled that she always had an interest in testing her strength, but when she was growing up, it wasn't really something that young women did. Judy was among one of the first women to lift a barbell above her head, a feat that would kick off a long and fruitful association with weightlifting. Gary Glenny, a member of the Athletes in Action weightlifting squad and Judy's future husband, would introduce her to the sport of weightlifting. Apparently, when she began, she was actually responsible for cleaning up the weight room, which sounds kind of like typical sexist nonsense that stood in the way of so many women reaching their potential. She said that she knew nothing about weight training, but was eager to learn and then began to practice. When it turned out that, surprise, surprise, she was actually actually good at this, she wanted to do what all the men at the gym were doing. The Olympic lifts and such were what intrigued her as they incorporated strength, power, and flexibility, things that she had plenty of. In the end, her passion led her to compete in these male-dominated events, and she became a pioneer in the field of women's weightlifting. Number 5. Jan Todd when Jan Todd began lifting weights in the early 1970s, there were very few women who were then training with barbells. She was dubbed the strongest woman in the world by many news sources and fellow competitors during her powerlifting days. Dr. Jan Todd would then be elected into the National Fitness Hall of Fame after setting more than 60 national and global records in women's powerlifting and spending over a decade in the Guinness Book of Records. Today, though, Todd is a Roy J. McLean Fellow in Sport History at the University of Texas at Austin, as well as the co-director of the university's H.J. Lutcher Stark Center for Physical Culture and Sports. There were no regulations or sanctioned contests for women when Todd began powerlifting in 1975, so she pushed the National Powerlifting Association to allow women to compete and helped create the first rules controlling women's participation. During the early years of the sport, she also served as the association's national and world chairman for women's powerlifting and became a staunch supporter of drug testing for both male and female competitors. Number 4. Christy Hawkins Christy Hawkins is a powerful lady possessing more than just muscle. She's a chemical engineer, in addition to being one of the best female powerlifters and bodybuilders in the world. But I think by this point, we aren't actually surprised that women have more going on than just the way they appear, right? Christy would graduate from Longview High School in 1998 and then went on to Texas A&M University shortly after. That's where she earned a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering before going on to earn a master's from Caltech in California. Finally, in 2008, she would get her PhD from Caltech as if to demonstrate that her intellect was actually her greatest strength in a body that has, well, a lot of strength already. Christy suffered with weight-related issues throughout high school, first being overweight and then later suffering from anorexia. She joined a gym and that's where she discovered a technique to get fit and maintain a healthy weight by doing cardio and weightlifting. However, the weightlifting soon took over and she realized she wanted to be a bodybuilder. The 5'4 Texan now weighs 135 pounds and it's all muscle. Christy has had a lot of success juggling her own chemical engineering firm with her bodybuilding, and that includes finishing 7th at the Miss Olympia event in 2009 and 14th at Miss International the year before. She's no longer concerned about her weight. However, anyone who crosses her should be wary of the amount of muscle packed into such a little frame. Number 3. Kim Shazewski. 
Kim Shizewski is an American professional female bodybuilder and fitness and figure competitor. Shizewski grew up in Decatur after being born in Mattoon, Illinois in 1968, and in high school excelled in a variety of sports, which included running, shot put, discus, and also performing the long jump. She also participated in volleyball, basketball, and cheerleading, and then went on to read paralegal studies at Southern Illinois University. She would become a member of the dance team, taking aerobics classes. That's when a friend would persuade her to attempt bodybuilding after a few years of all of that. Her 5 foot 8 inch frame steadily grew in size over the years, and she then competed at 157 pounds in the 1997 Miss Olympia. After winning the Miss Olympia in 99, she then chose to withdraw from the sport. According to Bill Dobbins, she would left the sport because of the IFBB's gender discrimination standards, which called for more femininity and less muscularity. In 2001, she gave up a lot of her muscular gains and then began competing in fitness and figure contests with mixed results. Number 2. Julia Vins Julia Vins is often known as Muscle Barbie and is a weightlifter who started bodybuilding at the age of 15. She began attending the gym in order to get more confidence as well as to enhance her fitness level and it was at that time that a coach saw her strength and decided that she might as well be a weightlifter. She overcame difficulties at home and then became devoted to her academics with aspirations of attending law school. She also said that she used to have a lot of spare time in school, which she used to manage her gym time. She's known by the moniker Muscle Barbie because her beautiful looks belie her enormous strength. But can we all just please stop with the judgmental nonsense right about now? Number 1. Alina Popa Alina Popa lives in the United States, but was actually born in the Romanian town of Brelia in 1978. She began her love affair with health and athletics when she was just 12 years old and competed in track and field in high school with the hopes of losing weight. However, the weight reduction quickly reverted to weight increase, this time in the form of pure muscle. Alina earned her bachelor's degree in English and then was soon on her way to the United States to pursue her goal of being a competitive female bodybuilder. With great muscles comes great responsibility, which is totally how that quote goes, right? And as we saw from this list, some of those women took that just a smidge too far. Or did they? Because no matter what, the female body is incredibly beautiful. Which of these amazing Amazons has inspired you the most? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.